Hello, my fam. It is Perez Hilton, and today we are talking some toxic masculinity. I'm going to be getting into Bill Gates, Joe Rogan, Keemstar, and more, plus Prince Harry saying ridiculousness about America. Also getting into Chrissy Teigen, Ariana Grande, Justin Hartley, and more. Thank you for spending some time with me. And before I get to all of this stuff, I had an interesting thought the other day. And by the other day, I mean last night. <laughs> I would like to think that society keeps progressing and changing, improving. But if you're lucky enough to get older and older and older, which I am now, I'm 43. It seems to me like the same things keep happening over and over and over again. Whether it be social injustices, setbacks here, this there, um, you know, we move really a lot in that direction and then we counter in the other direction. There will always be dumb people. There will always be awful things happening and We just need to learn how to be as happy as possible. It's an ongoing process. I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> I am happy, but really in a sad rut. And that's okay. Um, at least I have three beautiful, healthy children that help lift me up. And I feel like I have enjoyment of life and purpose and things to contribute and say. Like talking about Keemstar, which some of you might know, especially if you're watching on YouTube, he is a popular YouTuber with a very large channel. His Drama Alert channel, I'm gonna guess has at least nine million subscribers. Let me go check. Drama Alert, has not that much, 5.7 million subscribers. Still huge, very followed. Plus he has a podcast with a very popular gamer named Banks. In the past, Keemstar has said some really awful things about this Israeli American Jewish YouTuber, Ethan Klein anti-Jewish, anti-Semitic, repeated eight speech. Got to outsmart the system. And despite his eight speech that has been documented with receipts and not just screen grabs, video, on video, him saying, awful things about Jewish people that I will not repeat. Despite that, you know what he did just this weekend? He apologized, not for what he said, but he said that he's sorry that he got caught. If you wanna know what the definition of toxic masculinity is, it's Keemstar. I mean, I said some awful things in the past, but to unalive Jewish people, like that's what he said, and other things. Cheers to him. Yesterday, I had a good day of healthy eating, so that was good. I was happy about that. I was proud about that. And I showered yesterday and today. I was happy about that. I was proud about that. Little victories. <laughs> um, all right, I don't want to talk about Keemstar anymore because he's not worth my time. Ay, ay, ay. But Joe Rogan is worth my time because he has such an intense and large following. And I don't want to say he's brainwashing them, but 
it's either like-minded individuals or people who really listen to what he has to say and slowly start to become like-minded individuals. In a rant on his podcast recently, Joe Rogan spoke out about woke culture, the woke mob, and that if, quote, you agree to all these demands, it'll eventually get to straight white men are not allowed to talk, saying we're in effing crazy times. Two things. First of all, Joe Rogan is giving off major small D energy. Major small D energy. And secondly, I hate that term, woke culture. Like, that puts people into boxes that... People are smarter than that and more complex than that and more evolved than that. I'm not woke, but I am listening. I am trying to be considerate. I am trying to be, oh, it's not all about me and what I want, um, you know? And, and, and I have some thoughts and views that might not be considered woke. You know, I have, I, I've said this before, I consider myself a real centrist, a, a liberal centrist. I don't even say I'm a Democrat. I'm I like to I would like to be in the party of the realist, the realist party. Neither here nor there, like just keep it real. Let's come up with great, real, achievable plans that can really help people and make a difference and yada yada yada. Um but come on, Keemstar, like I, I saw uh, some a woman say, oh, so you feel like a woman now. Um, I mean, Joe Rogan, I said Keemstar, but they're very similar. That's why I put them next to each other. I have also noticed though that and I think maybe a lot of us were this way when we were younger, or, or it's just gotten worse. A lot of young people are unable to see somebody else's point of view or have a conversation with somebody who disagrees with them. Young people, in my opinion, are extremely intolerant. And was I that way when I was young? I did think I knew it all. And as I've gotten older, I realized that's not the case. Speaking of toxic masculinity, Bill Gates, his rep, has confirmed that he had at least one affair while married to his wife, Melinda Gates. We don't know too much information about the woman or the length of time, but where the toxic masculinity comes into play, instead of hiring escorts, like a lot of really, really, really wealthy people, Bill Gates would hit on his employees, would make advances on women that worked for both Microsoft and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And that's one thing if, you know, like, I, listen, I'm not, like, I don't, I, I don't want to say what woke people think, right? Woke, I, I hate that word. Um, some woke people is there a different word for woke? Some like super liberals or whatever might think, oh, you should never date a colleague. But I'm like, people date their coworkers all the time. It's people that you hang out with and blah, 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 blah. I don't know if, if it, it should be a fast and steady rule that you shouldn't date 
a coworker, but you definitely shouldn't pressure anybody into meeting up for a date. You shouldn't make unwanted advances, all of that stuff. You should be a decent person, right? Um, so I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing that he was asking people out for dinner, but he's married. He's married. And also he is the head of the company. Like women might be afraid to say no, but they did say no. So thankfully it's not like, I don't know if he abused his power. Did he? It's a complicated subject. All right, let's keep it moving. From Bill Gates to Prince Harry, also a complicated subject. I did not sit down to listen to his entire interview with Dax Shepard, but his comments about the First Amendment have riled up a lot of people, including myself. This is what Prince Harry told Dax Shepard about the First Amendment, quote, seemingly criticizing it. <clears throat> quote, I've got so much I want to say about the First Amendment as I sort of understand it, but it's bonkers. I don't want to start going down the First Amendment route because that's a huge subject and one which I don't understand because I've only been here a short time. But you can find a loophole in anything. You can capitalize or exploit what's not said rather than uphold what is said. First of all, what really is he trying to say other than he does not appreciate, understand, respect, or celebrate the First Amendment. The <coughs> laws in the UK are very different. It's a lot easier to win libel defamation suits in the United Kingdom. I don't know. Um, this does not seem like a smart cross to sit on. Is that the expression? I was going to say die on, but that's too extreme. I mean, like most, I would say the overwhelming majority of Americans support the First Amendment, right? Like it's what this country was founded on. Like everybody should be able to express their opinion in a non-hurtful way. Spreading lies, misinformation, that's a totally different topic. I'm not quite sure what he's getting at other than I think he wants to control the media and he's been able to sue a lot of publications in the UK and sue the paparazzi in an attempt to control the media, but that's not gonna work in America, Prince Harry. Sorry. The US don't play that way. From Prince Harry to an ongoing story, Chrissy Teigen, her cookware line has been pulled from Macy's following all of her recent controversy with her old tweets. At least that is what is being reported. That it did happen, but I'm guessing that like Target, maybe there is an explanation for this. Maybe the deal just ran its course and Chrissy is just selling her cookware online or something. And so what? You know, she's not selling her cookware at Macy's anymore. She's still married to John Legend. Happy and incredibly successful. Speaking of happy, congratulations to Ariana Grande. She just got her first husband. And I say that tongue in cheek, silly. I would love for Ariana and Dalton Gomez, her husband, to last forever. Wait, and you know what? She doesn't have to change her initials now, AG to AG. And Ariana Gomez does not sound bad. 
her little Gomez children. What if she's pregnant? I would not be surprised if she's already pregnant. Congratulations. Although they had a really small wedding in Montecito where Ariana has a home. I love Montecito. Uh, if I had that kind of money, I'd rather have a Montecito home than a Palm Springs home. Palm Springs is nice to get away to, but Pon Montecito is just, you have the ocean there, you have just, it's just stunning. Anyways, less than 20 people were at Ariana's wedding this weekend at her home in Montecito. Less than 20 people confirmed by her publicist. So that means 19 people? Like if you're Ariana's cousin and you didn't get an invite or if you're Dalton's cousin, like I get it, you don't need to invite 100 people, but you know, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, and then your cousins and aunt and uncle and that's it. No, no friends, just family, I would say. But, you know, it's her wedding and do what you want. And she paid for it. If I pay for my children's wedding, I'm going to have a say in it. Yep, I'm that dad. If I pay for my children's wedding, um, of course, you're going to invite your aunt and your uncle. And you're going to invite your, your niece and any other cousin that you might have. Thankfully for them, I don't have a large family, but you got to invite your aunt and uncle and cousin. Speaking of getting married, congratulations to Justin Hartley. He also just got married uh, for a, a little bit now, not this weekend, a short period of time it's being described as, and he only just got divorced from his ex, Chriselle Stoss, his new wife is Sofia Pernas, a fellow soap opera alum. She might actually still be starring in soap operas. So congratulations to them. And congratulations to Jimmy Fallon. He just got his TV show renewed for five more years. That's a big renewal. Major. Congratulations to him. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, leave a comment, follow, subscribe, share. You know what to do. Mwah.